Hi friends, this video will give you an incredibly simple yet remarkably effective peak performance brain hack for personal growth, goal achievement, and success. Success, by the way, in any area of professional or personal development that is important to you. Our brains aren't optimally engineered for success in modern society. Our brains are engineered by evolution to seek and avoid risks, among other things, but primarily to seek and avoid risk. But to achieve our highest potential in being our highest self, while also continuing to grow and develop personally and professionally, and also doing the things we want to do with our lives, in our lives, the things that will bring us the greatest joy, meaning, and fulfillment, and also, if we are to achieve and have the experiences and results we most want well, then we must have mechanisms to retrain our brains Otherwise, we end up living a life far beneath our aspirations and our potential. We will never become the biggest, best, and most evolved person of our desires and potential if we don't habitually, and by habitual, I mean each day, if we don't habitually and purposefully push ourselves into and past our fears, our laziness, and our resistance, and into and past our comfort zone and then past our self-limiting habits. Now, what I'm going to suggest to you that you do is an excellent method of rewiring your subconscious brain. It's rooted in neuroscience. Neuroscience knows that our skills and our habits reside in our subconscious brain, not our conscious brain. And our subconscious brain is what? Well, it's outside the realm of our conscious awareness. So we want or, and need methods of accessing and retraining or rewiring our subconscious brain so that we create and nourish new, more positive mindsets, beliefs, skills, behaviors, and actions. So our ingrained neurological pathways in our physiological brain. These pathways are circuits of neurons that communicate or fire together in very specific patterns and with specific neurochemicals communicating between the neurons and with electrical activity occurring within the neurons. Okay, so one great way to hack your physiological brain and plant the seed of habitual subconscious drive for ongoing personal challenge, risk-taking, personal development, confidence, and greater productivity is to strategically challenge yourself each day on little, simple things. When you accomplish your relatively simple challenge, immediately reward yourself using the very simple mental and physical exercise I'm going to share with you in a moment. Our brains are wired to learn and grow, to figure things out and make things work for us. A part of this reward and motivation cycle is fueled by the brain's desire for neurochemicals such as dopamine, endorphins, testosterone, norepinephrine, serotonin. We don't have to wait for serendipity, for challenge, motivation, and reward to occur. We can use our mind and our body to hack our subconscious brain and take how our brain naturally works and remold and optimize our subconscious brain. With this simple exercise, you can take active control over how your brain naturally works and engineer it to be a machine that works better for you, re-engineer it to automatically, subconsciously, make you a more energized, focused, positive, challenged, motivated, active, positive-seeking person. And positive risk is always associated with growing, being, living, and achieving exceptionally. So with this exercise, you will create all these positive things I've mentioned for yourself by tactically using your psychology, your mind, as well as your physiology and chemistry, your body, and use your mind and body to hack your subconscious brain and introduce the experiences and the neurochemicals that are associated with energy, confidence, personal power, assertion and risk-taking, and of course pleasure and accomplishment. What you'll be doing is retraining your subconscious brain to more actively, constantly, and eagerly seek challenges, seek growth, 
and take them on, expect to prevail over them, and expect to come out victorious. Because of your confidence in yourself and your ability to persevere and win, and because of your confidence in achieving the experiences, including the neurochemicals, that your brain is driven to have and experience. Neuroscience knows that the subconscious brain does not know the difference between an actual event and a vividly visualized event. To the subconscious brain, they are equally real, equally valid. Well, because of this, if you repeatedly use the exercise I'm going to give you, and if you include great passion, emotion, feeling, urgency, and meaning, using your mind and your body to hack your subconscious brain, if you repeatedly do this, you will begin to rewire your subconscious brain for greater confidence, greater action, greater risk taking, greater activity, and appetite and confidence in taking ever greater challenges and persevering over inevitable roadblocks and disappointments. Okay, so here is the simple exercise or technique you can use to practice hacking your subconscious brain to rewire it using your conscious mind and brain and also using your physiology, your body. If you do this repeatedly over time, you will create new mindsets, skill sets, and behavioral sets. Ones that are more constructive, creative, and productive and come from your subconscious brain. Okay, so here's what you do. Let's say, for example, you normally finish a daily work activity in one hour. Well, the next time you do it, set yourself a small, achievable challenge. Maybe challenge yourself to complete the task today with equal or greater quality, but only in 45 minutes. Now, even if this is relatively simple, while you go about the activity, focus, act, and feel a heightened sense of challenge and personal power during the 45 minutes. Then at the end of the 45 minutes, with a task complete, jump up and down, pump your fists into the air, use your mind and your body to create and accentuate, intensify a feeling of winning, excitement, personal power, pleasure, a feeling that is much greater than you or anyone would normally feel or believe in for having accomplished such a relatively minor challenge. I want to emphasize that the point is not to be a silly Pollyanna cheerleader. It has nothing to do with that. You're not even seeking to make a significant, if any, really, change in your conscious psychology. You're using it. What you're doing is using that to make a change in your subconscious, your unconscious brain. Neurological, electrical, and chemical. And if you do this exercise on a regular basis, you will prime your subconscious brain to begin seeking more and greater challenges and to be less intimidated or less likely to avoid them, more confident also, more energized, more positively challenged because your subconscious brain is going to associate the challenge not with fear or the desire for avoidance or, or of potential failure. Your subconscious brain, your neurological brain will associate the seeking of and taking on of new and greater challenges as a highly desirable way to gain and experience the neurochemicals it most desires, wants, and enjoys and is driven naturally to seek. It's a great thing, right? We only become and achieve significant and great things when we seek and slay significant challenges. By doing this, you've trained your unconscious brain to experience and expect that when you seek and take on challenges, you will be rewarded with the chemicals that it most loves and craves and is engineered to seek. You've, in effect, become an ethical, wise, really intelligent legal drug de dealer and drug addict, one that will propel you further into becoming, behaving, and achieving as a consistently greater, optimized, more accomplished, more fulfilled, happier, more successful version of yourself. Our subconscious brain does not and cannot rationalize that the highly desirable neurochemicals that you have artificially introduced into it and associated it to or tied it to a direct consequence of you seeking and taking on challenges. Your subconscious brain has no idea 
that through your purposeful manipulative use of your mind and body, you've hacked it, you've fooled it, to optimize it for success. And as always, with new habits you want to create, like this one, don't rely upon your memory. You won't remember. The best thing is for you to create reminders. Do two things. Number one, create reminders in your smartphone and on your desktop or laptop calendar that pop up and remind you. Also create a new ritual for yourself that will automatically lead you to begin practicing and employing this new, new skill set and behavior set. For example, I'll give you a personal example. I have a ritual that I engage in every night as soon as I turn the lights off, close my eyes and lay down. The ne very next thing I do every night is I see, hear and feel vividly and intensely a ritual that I have to optimize my subconscious brain for greater clarity of passion and purpose, for motivation and inspiration, for confidence that I will prevail in positivity of personal power, the drive to remain tenaciously, actively committed to be, do, and achieve to my highest potential, aspirations, dreams, and goals. Then I go through the exact same ritual every morning as I lie in bed immediately upon waking before I open my eyes. Every night, every day. And it takes me only about five to ten. That's it for this video, friends. I hope you'll create this new ritual for yourself. It's really a simple, powerful method of rewiring your subconscious brain for a more positive mindset, behavior, and action. Please like and share this video with your friends and loved ones. After all, you do want the best for them, right? And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And after you do that, just one click, quick click, go to my website, ChristopherBabson.com, and submit your first name and email address to me. If you subscribe at YouTube and you subscribe on my website, you will get all of the free training, historical and future free training that I offer and the training is not always the same. Some things on the YouTube channel will not appear on my, my website. Some things on my website will not appear on my YouTube channel. Peace, power, and prosperity, my friends.